What is up guys and welcome back to the vlog. I'm up early today, I'm ready to get my day going. I have a ton of things to do today. I just finished up editing a few last bits of yesterday's vlog and that's gonna be going up in a couple of hours so I got my backpack with my laptop with me. Also got on my new kicks I got yesterday. I ended up just getting a pair of gray and white Rocher runs. But the first place I'm headed off to is Fred Loya Insurance to get my car insurance straightened out. And then after that, I also need to mail out Brian's camera who won the G7X giveaway. And then I have a few other little errands to run here and there. I was expecting another hot day in Las Vegas, walked outside. One, it's extremely windy still. We had a huge windstorm last night and it's continuing over into today. And it's also freezing out. Like I could have probably worn a hoodie and shorts today and been fine. So I had just gotten to Fred Loya and what I actually need to do since I have two cars is they had to take pictures of my BMW. Now I need to go home, grab my other car, drive back to Fred Loya Insurance so they could take pictures of that so I can reinstate my policy. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I just ended up switching out the cars. Right now I am driving Rachel's car, my other car, headed back to Fred Loya. I hope I don't need anything else because if I do, then I'm gonna have to run back home again and grab it. I hope that this is just enough and then I can continue to do all the other things that I need to do today. I was unaware that I was gonna have to bring both vehicles back to get pictures retaken. We are back in business. Everything is straightened out with my car insurance. I knew there was something that I had to do after car insurance, but I can't remember. My mind's just been all over the place today because I have so much shit that I need to do. Made it back home just in time for my vlog to go up. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. My vlog just went up. I tried waking Rachel up at noon because we have a shit ton of things to do today. She didn't wake up. I went and ran my errands, so I'm about to go wake her ass up right now. Chloe, I am gonna kick your fucking ass. Where are you, Chloe? She brought the fucking rug out here. She chewed up fucking toothpicks. Babe! Babe! We need to wake up. Well, you need to wake up. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. Wake up, babe. You are bad. The sheets last night were covered in dog hair, so we ended up throwing them in the wash. I ended up passing out, and I thought Rachel was going to take them out of the dryer and put them back on the bed, but she ended up falling asleep too. She's finally awake, though. Right now, I'm getting all my clothes that I need to bring to New York with me in a huge pile. I'm going to do a load of laundry, and then Chloe also chewed up these fucking toothpicks here. She chewed up these hair ties. She chewed up some paper down there. Like, I, I don't know where she finds this shit. She brought the bathroom mat from the bathroom out here. Got my suitcase right there trying to get everything fucking packed and ready to go. But this is ridiculous. If she keeps doing this shit where she wants to chew things at nighttime, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get a crate and start putting her in her crate at nighttime since she just likes to fucking chew everything she can get her mouth on. Alrighty, so Rachel actually just informed me that we ran out of laundry detergent last night. So I need to head to Walmart, get that. I'm probably going to grab some socks. Uh, some boxers and some t-shirts. I don't know why, but I think we have a fucking sock monster in our house because my socks are always disappearing. And then I have to run to Petco really quick and get the dog some dog food. Made it to Walmart. Now I just need to get all this bullshit that I need. Socks, underwear, uh, laundry detergent. I ended up just grabbing a ton of t-shirts. We got V-necks, non-V-necks, white, black, gray. I got two things as socks and I just need to grab some laundry detergent. Petco was pretty much right across the street from Walmart, but unfortunately, they don't have the correct dog food that I need, so now I need to head over to PetSmart really fast. Rachel's on her Martha Stewart shit right now, cleaning the hell out of this house. Why do you have those LED? Did you just put those LED lights up? Why am I just noticing them? Oh, uh, well, you should turn them off. I don't need them right now. It's daytime. I'm getting hungry, babe. We haven't eaten yet today. What time is it right now? Like almost, yeah, three o'clock, damn. If you guys watched yesterday's vlog, you know I went into the mountains and I was saying that 64 degrees is cold. Listen, I know it gets a lot colder everywhere else. I'm originally from upstate New York where it gets negative 30 in the winter time. So I know what cold is. But when I said it was cold, I meant it's cold for Las Vegas because where I live at my house, it was almost 90 degrees, but up in the mountains, it was 64. That is a huge temperature difference. And when you're going from 90 to 64 degree weather, it's cold, it was freezing and I was freezing my ass off up there. But I'm gonna be heading to New York tomorrow. By the time you guys will be watching this, I'll probably be in New York or at least on my way there. And I know it's getting cold there 
Like I said, I grew up in upstate New York, so I know what cold is. Negative 30 is fucking freezing. Anyways, right now, Rachel is just picking up a few more things around the house, and then we're gonna head out and meet Jordan for lunch. We're gonna go to Outback. I'm gonna get something healthy there, but like I said, I'm leaving for New York. Jordan is leaving to go back to Wisconsin, so we're just gonna have like a little going away lunch together. Rachel won't stop fucking with me right now. Stop, get. Dude, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Anyways, right now we're at Outback. We're about to meet up with Jordan and grab some food. Yeah, get your ass in there before I knock you out. <laughs> Ouch! Get your ass back here. Stop! 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 Open the door. Got it anyways. This is going to be the last meal I eat with my dad for a long time. I probably won't see you for what, like a week? Probably. You'll probably, Three fucking, weeks. you'll probably fucking be here next week. <laughs> yeah, Cody, when are you coming back from New York? Uh, I'll be at the Golden Nugget when you get back. October 21st, 23rd. Oh, that's when you'll be here? Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, so a couple weeks. Yeah. Rachel ended up getting herself some blooming petals, and right now it's really testing my self-control because it looks and smells so good, but I can't do it. Got to stay on this diet. And normally, I would even get an alcoholic beverage, but right now I just got a lemon water. I just had a little cup of chicken soup, and I also ended up ordering a six-ounce, what was it, like center cut sirloin steak, which is under 600 calories. So like I said, I'm really trying to watch my weight and watch what I eat. Well shit, no wonder why this steak is under 600 calories. It's as about as big as my wiener. So I'm about to be saying my final goodbyes to my dad for a couple weeks until he comes out here to get his cruise tickets. You want to make out? Uh, uh, um. I actually just ordered Jordan an Uber, waiting for that to get here. Uh, I'm about to just say fuck Jordan and leave because I don't know where the hell his Uber's at. There it is, dad. Right. right over there, White Altima. It was good seeing you. I, I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna talk to you on FaceTime and text every single day, so. All right, send me dick pics. So Jordan's Uber driver is actually driving a white Nissan Altima. Hey, Jordan's walking over to that car and then all of a sudden like this family gets out. There's like five of them all together getting out of the car. Jordan turns around, looks at me and I'm like, oh shit, that's definitely not his car. So I'm not too sure where the Uber's at. Let me check my phone real quick. Rachel's packing right now. Chloe was just over there digging all over the clothes. Of course I couldn't grab my camera in time to catch her doing it, but I'm gonna leave her be and see if she'll do it again. Now Griffey over here laying on the clothes but right now I'm about to go through everything and get everything packed up for New York. Devin just got here not too long ago and look at the way Chloe's laying right now. I have no idea how she's comfortable. She's got like her ass on the chair, body flown up over this fucking thing. Beans. Chloe Beans. How are you comfy baby? How are you comfy? How are you comfy huh? It's so cute. So as you guys can see, I got like all my new t-shirts and boxers that I just bought, a sweatshirt, I got a couple pairs of pants in here. I really don't need sweatshirt or sweatpants living in Las Vegas because it really doesn't get that cold where I live. But it's cold in New York, so I might have to go to the store, maybe like Walmart or something, and just grab like a couple sweatshirts. I'm not gonna go out and spend a lot of money on like really nice sweatshirts because I guarantee you that after New York, I probably won't wear these that often. Chloe is literally passed out right now. She even has like a little tear coming from her eye and it's sparkling right now. Devin and I are actually gonna head over to Ross, which is similar to a Marshalls. They always have like cheap hoodies and stuff like that there. So I'm gonna head there real quick, see if they have any sweatshirts and sweatpants for me. Apparently Ross still thinks it's like 130 degrees outside because they only had a few pairs of sweatpants and a few sweatshirts there. So we decided to come to Walmart second time today. Stop. You stink. Stop, you're getting me fucking wet. Rachel and I got most of everything packed up. Right now I'm actually gonna start editing this vlog since I'm not gonna upload it on the plane because the plane Wi-Fi is absolute trash and there would be no way that my vlog would go up on time. So I'm gonna edit it now and then upload it overnight so that way it's just ready to go tomorrow. Devin, how much do I have to pay you to wet your ball sack and slap it on that bug zapper? Dude, I can hear the fucking bug frying in there. That's gross. He just smacked a big ass moth with it. How much you willing to give me? I'll give you 200 bucks. That's not enough. What? Yeah, it is. You don't need kids. You're right. No. It's like a natural birth control. Like you could pay a couple thousand dollars to get a vasectomy or you could just wet your ball sack and put it on the bug zapper. Your choice. And it'll be on camera so like you'll never forget it. What if it gets Uh, I'll blur it out. I'll blur out your ball sack. 
<laughs> it zoomed in so far too on your face right now. I ain't talking about you, babe. I'm talking about that little Caesars you just got. Damn, I'm dude. Burning? Yeah, I'm so far zoomed in right now. Like it's so hard to keep it steady. Hey. Rachel's cheating on her diet, getting some little Caesars. But fuck, there's three plates there, so you know what that means. Yes, guys, I am cheating on my diet. I'm gonna have one slice of little Caesars pizza. Normally, I'll eat half the fucking pizza. But if I'm gonna eat something unhealthy, I'm gonna cut the portion size. I'm not gonna eat a lot. Honestly, we just have so much going on right now that neither one of us have time to make dinner So Rachel went and grabbed a little Caesars pizza. Chloe beans. Chloe, what are you doing, baby? Ow. She does not like that you're holding her like that at all. She looks so cute though. You look so cute. <laughs> yeah, she does not like that at all. She looks so cute right now. With her teeth showing. She gets like comfortable in the weirdest ways. It's oh no, crazy. look at her right now. Laid out on mommy. Uh -huh. She looks so cute. I'm gonna miss her. And grippy, of course. So Rachel and I have to be up super early. Hold on, there's hair on the lens. We're gonna be waking up at about 3 o'clock and we're extremely tired. We're trying to get to bed as early as we can. So I'm gonna end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Today was pretty hectic. A lot of running around to do. I wasn't able to pick up my camera that much because I was just so stressed out and just focused on trying to get shit done that I needed to get done. And I got it done. We're all packed, ready to go. But we're going to call it an early night, like I said, because we have to be up super early. I should be to New York tomorrow around 5 p.m. Eastern time. Right now, I'm just going to throw this clip into the vlog, end the vlog, and upload it so that way everything is good to go in the morning. Shout out of the day goes out to Jake Wilson, 2016 on Instagram. He's always liking my pictures and commenting, feeding me positivity, telling me he loves my vlogs and watches them every single day. So go check him out on Instagram. If you guys want to be shout out of the day, make sure to follow me on all my social media accounts. The links are always below in the description and be active. That'll improve your chances of being shout out of the day, but I'm about to go pass out. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, and when I see you guys, I'll be in New York. We're taking Rachel's car because I don't want the dogs to scratch my leather seats and look at all this hair.